Hello friends, I'm Mum and today we're diving in the fantastic world of Linux. And you are welcome to the second customization of Ground Desktop Environment. So, let's get started. So here I have Fedora 40 with GNOME desktop environment and today we're gonna make it into well the one which I showed you earlier. So let's get started shall we? Now starting with the first and obvious steps are installation of GNOME tweaks and extension managers. All the commands and links are in the description so don't worry about it. Let me install it. sudo dnf gnome dash tweaks enter dot put password and there we go. Alright, I forgot the install keyboard. Install. There we go. And done. And now for the GNOME extension manager, I suggest you to install the flat pack version. This one. Now this version of extension manager allows you to directly download and install all the extensions from the application. So you don't have to visit the site every time. Now after that, it's time to install the extensions. Now you have to install user themes, blur by shell and then we're gonna download dash to doc. Now dash to panel. Yes, dash to panel. There it is. Install it. Install. Um, it is downloading us, I think. There it is. And now, you might see some odd things because I've already installed the themes and all. Well then, let me show you. For this customization, we're gonna use the amazing Orchids GDK theme. we we'll go on to Orchids GDK theme. All the links are in the description, so don't worry. Now this link is off the direct site from the GitHub. You just have to download the zip files from here. And you have to do the same for the icon theme for which I'm gonna use Tela. Tela icon theme. Let me just go and download it. Or we can use Papyrus, but yes, I've already used it in one video, so Let's change something. And there it is. Let it download. And now in the meantime, let's go and customize the panel. The main thing. But first, let me disable all the existing themes. Let's just go with Advida. There it is. Right click on the panel and go to dash to panel settings. Now, let's customize it. Now for this, I believe I'm going to use Arc Menu. Let's install it from Extension Manager. Arc Menu. Install. Install. Let it install. Till then, let me see, is it downloaded? Yes, it is downloaded. So, in the meantime, where it is downloading, like really, my previous themes are still applied on application. Well, we are going to use Orchid's GDK theme and this is Orchid's GDK theme, so yes, no worries. Let's extract all the files. You have to extract the files, go to the folder and right click on the install.sh and run as programs. You have to do the same for the theme also. Go there and right click on it and run as program, that's it. Here we have Arc menu installed, there it is. Now let's customize it. Go to dash to panel settings. And now let's customize the main thing, the panel. Show applications button, no. We're gonna use art menu, this one. I believe this is called left box here. So let it stay there. Now go to the taskbar and stack it to monitor centered. Now it is looking pretty nice, isn't it? And now we're gonna go to, well, let's move the application button to the center as well. Let's go to monitor center. There it is. Now we want this D thing in the top left corner or bottom left corner, we should say. 
Now let me just push it to the upside. There it is. Now start to left. Now it is looking pretty nice. Well then, I believe everything is set up. And now it is time to customize a few things. But first, let's go and apply the themes, shall we? Well, let me just go to there, there, and extension, not extension manager, actually canoe theme. There it is. And apply all the things. And yes, I forgot to tell you again, I'm using the Bata Modern Cursor. I've linked in the description of the official site. Let me just show it to you. This one. I've linked the official GitHub repository. Stroll down until you find the installation theme. There it is, the installation section. And now just copy the commands and paste it in the terminal and this cursor will be downloaded. Now let's apply them. Vibata modern cons not amber. Operational eyes. No, I want the modern eyes. Where it is? There it is. For the icons, I'm gonna go with Tela. Alright, I forgot. We had to use Tela circle. And for that, we just have to use a simple command. And go to the folder where we extracted the Tela icon theme. Now let's see what is the key code of installing the circle version specify the theme name the destiny the color scheme or the color version okay so we have to install it separately i believe okay let's install it from there let's go to the browser install tela of tela circle Icon theme. There it is. Tell us circle icon theme. Let's download zip. There it is. Yes, this is the one we had to download. Well, it will be downloaded in a few seconds. Let's just wait. What will be the size? Like 13? Yes, 12.6 Mbps. Now let's go to files, downloads, and extract it. Well then, let's open it and right click on the install button and click on run as program. There it is installing and it has been installed. Now let's go to the GNOME Freaks application. There it is. Appearance and apply Tela Circle Light. Yes, this one. This really looks amazing, isn't it? Now for the shell, we're gonna go with Orchids Normal Orchids. Appearance, this really looks nice. Now let's go to Legacy Application and I'm gonna choose Orchids Light. There we go. This really does look nice, doesn't it? Now, it is time to customize a little more. We're gonna go to styles and here, let's see. App icon style, what is it? Right, I'm gonna make it to zero. Not zero, at least four. Okay, for the paddling, what is it? All right, let me just set it to four and set it to three. I wanted three. Come on. There it is. The perfect size. We can animate it. Yes. Let me just decrease the travel. A little more. A little more, like 5%. There it is. Keep amazing animation now let's see what else we can customize right the running indicator for which i'm gonna go with dashes and now the running indicator unfocused for this i believe i'm gonna go with dots and for this i'm gonna go with dashes 
the edges looking pretty nice. Now for the focused applications we can actually customize it pretty well. Fern. Right, right. What else we can customize? We can customize the color. Well, this looks pretty awesome. Or not. Yes. This looks better. For the focused app icon dominant color, highlight the focus app. No, I don't want it to be highlighted. Now it is looking a little better. Let's see what else we have got. No. 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 Dashes. Dashes do look nice. Yeah, I'm gonna go with dashes just like that. Let's go to behavior. Now, show windows preview on hover. Okay. Icon size, fonts, window peaking. Right, let's go to actions. Behavior when clicking on the icon of the running application. Okay, this one. If we do this, this looks pretty nice. And when we scroll an icon, we scroll between the windows. Right. Let's go to fine tune. Well, we don't have anything else to do here. Looks like everything is set up. Now it is time to customize the menu. The arc menu. Now, let's see what else we have. Standalone running. No. Menu. Menu layout. This time, I'm gonna go with not Raven. Not even Launcher. Not even this. Let's see. Let's choose one of them. Well, I believe the AZ one looks pretty nice. Here we have Pop, Windows, Redmond, Plasma, Unity. Let's go with AZ. Okay, not bad. What else we have got? Let's try the Windows Insider one. Yes, this just looks nice. Pretty well. Let's see what else we have got. Windows 11, the normal Windows one. Pop OS, what is sleep? This also looks pretty okay, but no. I'm gonna go with the Insider one. Or let's go with Windows 11. Yeah, it looks pretty okay, but no. What about AC? Yes, AC, AC is the one. Now let's see what else we can modify. The menu theme. Hmm. The arc menu styles. Light blue. Yep, this looks better. Maybe. Simple dark. This is the dark one. The arc menu style. Dark blue. Light blue. Yes, light blue looks a lot better. But let's go on with the default all kids one. So what else we have got? The menu size, the location, yes, this one. Bottom centered. Now it is looking a little better. Fine tune. What else we can fine tune? Nothing. The search bar location is at the top. Okay, now let's customize the button. For which I believe let's go on with the default Fedora one. Or we have a lot other one. These really are beautiful just like this one. Where's Fedora? Let's try Fedora. Okay, not bad. Hmm, what about Earth? No. I want something which would look pretty okay and nice. So, let's go on with... I want something minimal but also dashing. 
guess the earth looks pretty nice. You can choose it according to your preference. Now it is time to increase the size. The positions there it is. Icon size. So that's the maximum size, huh? Okay, no problem. It isn't that bad. But yeah. Okay then, here I am. Ah. Now everything looks pretty nice, I'll say. Yes, it does look nice. And everything is done. Now it is time for the... What, what do we say in English? Cherry on the dog. Now the base of the cake is ready, it is time to purify it. Now I have a collection of wallpapers which I link in the description and you can choose any one according to your preference. For this, let's tie a bunch of them and in the end, I'm gonna choose one for the thumbnail. So for this, I believe, which one would be nice, let's see, let's try it, this nerd. Oh my, this is freaking beautiful. Amazing, isn't it? This is the one. This is the one. Okay then. All the links are in the description, so don't worry about it. And this look, this is looking so gorgeous. Like really. Well then, looks like the customization is done. And yes, you can customize everything from here. You can pin a bunch of applications, just like I am doing. Pin it to arc menu, go back and there it is. It is looking pretty nice. Now let me just, uh, what if I were to apply the dark theme of Orchid? Let's try it. Go to tweaks, appearance and let's apply the Orchid's dark. It'll apply in a moment. No, I believe the light one with this dark wallpaper looks gorgeous. Tweaks, appearance, shell, normal orchid for legacy applications. I'm gonna go with orchid slide. There we go. Beautiful, isn't it? Well, then. I believe the customization is done for today. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, then subscribe for daily dose of awesome rest content uploaded on this channel. And I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, I'm Oong, signing out.